Hi, this is Deepak Goyal. Uh, today, I want to tell you that how I started my journey uh, into analytics. So when I was doing my graduation in pharmacy, I did my graduation from Jamia Hamdar, New Delhi. So when I was doing my graduation, I got a summer internship offer. The company was Eli Lilly. Now, Eli Lilly asked me that to collect some data and give some insights. Now, this data was basically about meeting the retailers, meeting you know, the chemist basically, and asking the products, which products are prescribed by which doctor. So some sort of that data. So this was a very basic data and I collected data and I put on Excel sheet and I tried to do a lot of analysis. So when I thought to do a lot of analysis, it was not possible because the data was not clear to me, first of all, but somehow I asked the manager and he gave me the competitor data. You know, competitor data was quite huge, but it was compatible with Excel. I mean, I was able to work on Excel on this data. Usually if the data is very huge, we cannot work on Excel, but that data was enough to work on Excel. So I started doing some analysis and submitted the report. Unfortunately, the manager didn't like the report. The analysis was not in depth. Also, I was not confident about the insights. This was my first experience of working on a data. So anyhow, uh, I couldn't get it. Now, when I, uh, you know, joined some other company, I joined as a medical representative over there. So I always kept thinking that how I can focus on more data. So anyway, I mean, couldn't work more on that. So I prepared for CAT and I did my MBA after my MBA. I joined some research company there. Also, I work on data. Now, when I started my venture, so I started taking the pharmaceutical data in 2017, actually, I took some pharmaceutical data and I just wanted to create a report out of it. Now there are several tools to analyze the data. So I thought of Power BI to use because Power BI was available for free. Okay, so I installed the software. I took the data. I took the real time data and I did some analysis. Then uh, in a company, you know, we do training on this analytics and visualization tool. So I also gave this project to some students from pharmaceutical background who were doing pharma management, not the graduation one, but the pharmaceutical management students. Now I would like to show you at what exactly the student provided me after getting the data from me. Let me share the screen with you. So this is, yeah. So you can see the screen over here, okay. So this is a, sales representative so when we get a data we can do a lot of things over here we can find out the top performer distributor okay let me take you from the data first so let me take you the data so this is the data over here so this data was given by me to that student so it is a distributor this is a customer this is city country latitude longitude so that is not that important channel Okay, it is a pharmacy or hospital. So these were two channels. So let us say I selected this pharmacy, retail and their product name. So there are different products, you know, sold by that distributor and uh, product class, quantity, price, sales, months, year, name of the representative means the name of the person who was selling or pushing that drug in the market, the manager over here, the sales team, the name of the sales team, the monthly and also. So, so, so it's a huge data. So what I did, I gave this data to the guy and what the data, what he did in just two days of time. And he took uh, the course and, you know, he started working on the Power BI tool. He took the data and this is what he did. So when we talk about the top performance distributor, so this is just a one page, you can say the report. So you let me show you. So this is the top performance distributor. Okay, you can see. Gallag LLC is one of the district 3.5 billion. Now, if I see the top performance sub channel, okay, so you can see the sub channel over here, retail government. So this is a retail 28.3%. So these are the years. If I clear it, means suppose I clear the data, clear the selection, so I can find out all the years 2017. If you if I want to see only 2017, so this is just on the click. You can see this is only 2017. If I take 2018, so it's get changing. If I clear it, it means all the data. So this is just, on. if I see the top products, so basically we can find a lot of questions from the data, just based on, you know, just on some clicks over here. 
I can find out the top performance sales team as well. So let us say I click over here, top performance sales team. Let's see. So this is a top performance sales, you know, team performance. This is a sales team performance. Let us say top performance. Alpha, Bravo, these are the name of the sales team you can see over here. Okay. So top performance sales representative as well. I can find out that as well. So you can see Jimmy and all. So from the data, we can find lot of, lot of, you know, insights. And these are just on the clicks. You can see how easy it is and how cool the presentation is. Now, this presentation, if you present to your management or to your clients, it is going to impress them. Okay. You will get massive appreciation, huge appreciation for this. And you can, you know, feel a lot of confidence. You can see, you know, it's just on the click, like top of one distributor, top of one sub channel, top of one product class. So a lot of questions you can solve. These are just basic questions the person found, but these basic questions are very, very important. And these are just on the clicks. Okay. You can select the number, you, you can select the year, which year you want to see, how many years you want to see, whether you want to see for a particular month. This is just on a click. Okay. So just you click on the parameter you want and you get the answer. Okay. So this is very, very like, for example, top 10 cities, I click over here, top of one city. So I found it, you know, in this way. Now, if I see the top customers, so these are my top customers. Now the customer definitions are different. So when we design a content, we design that, which is my best customer, the best customer based upon the, uh, you know, amount or the revenue I have generated from, or whether there is a credit period, whether he pays in advance. So there are a lot of factors could be there to define the customer. We put that into the data and based on this, we find a lot of insights. So I hope you should also use the data. So this is a pharmaceutical data and you can see how in depth analysis we can do. I hope uh, this is going to help you a lot. This is going to help in a job, uh, in getting a job, if you are already working, then also it is going to help you in, to give insights to your management. So it's really, really amazing. So you can see how important the data is and how easy the tool is. The tool is very easy. The tool can do a lot of things I would like to highlight with you. The tool is very secure. The tool is on cloud, means you can share it to the people. On a real-time basis, you can make changes. For example, you add some more customers over here, so it automatically gets changed. In a real-time change, might happen over there okay it's a secure one you can just show everything on clicks you can get so much in-depth insights out of your data you are not going to just talk randomly over the table but with logical solution which is data driven solutions i must say and these are quite in-depth quite accurate okay and uh, you can share with your management you can share with your clients on a real-time basis and you can showcase you know your insight to them and this is going to really benefit to them as well so i hope you should uh you know learn this and give yourself a lot of confidence and give the data-driven solutions to your management thank you so much bye take care